Hey guys, it's Metro, and today we're out here in 20 Mile within the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm meeting up with one, two, three different YouTubers, doing a loop up to the AT, and then over to Gregory Ball, and then back to 20 Mile. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Let's keep moving. Andy Parish outdoors as the crow flies hiking. All right, so we have made it to this mile marker. If you went down this way, you would hit the lone, long, hungry ridge trail about 2.5 miles. But today we're gonna go this opposite way and take the other half of the 20 mile loop. It's gonna be great. Let's keep moving. All right, so we have reached another trailhead here, or a mile marker, I should say. To get to 20 mile, we have 2.9 miles. And on Sunday, we'll be trekking down on this trail, which I believe is the Wolf Ridge Trail. Crows bushwhacking. I to go off trail. Uh, leave no trace, make sure you don't trample on vegetation. These are thorns. Lady slippers. Lady slippers. Yeah, look at them. Metro said we don't see these very often, and here's a bunch of them. Right yeah, there. this is crazy. All in a row, right there. So, we are coming up into a trail marker where it'll split three ways. The middle is going to lead us to our camp tonight, and then the far trail is gonna take us over to the AT. So we're gonna have to backtrack in the morning. Almost made our way into camp at Camp 92. On the way in, uh, we've already seen a couple ticks, actually a tick, I should say, on Crow. Hope he doesn't get that alpha gal. You know what I'm saying, anyway. Just a few more steps in this direction. We'll be at Camp 92. Let's keep moving. All right, so we've made it to camp here at Camp 92 in the Smoky Mountains. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my camp now. So let's keep moving. So I was just noticing how dusty and dirty my steaks are. One thing about backpackers, if their steaks ain't dirty, you should be scared. Let's keep moving. So we made it to camp. Now I just have all my inside bags I need to go through. As you can see, I use the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Pods. This is a small, where I put most of my clothing in. Don't need to get into that right now. But I also have another pod that I put my electronics, my sleeping pad, 
as well as anything that I use inside of my tent, inside of this pod, so it makes it easy to compartmentalize all the items that I need to get to, such as my ditty bag, my flex tail pump, which we'll go through in a second, my pillow, also by flex tail, and my sleeping pad, which is the Repeat SL by Big Agnes, great sleeping pad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put those items together. In case you haven't been watching my videos, I also have a large Hyperlite pod, which is where I put my Enigma 30 degree quilt um, for my sleep system. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the pump together with the pad. Let's go ahead and put that together now. So that was easy. This is the flex tail pump. This works very well takes little to no effort to get this sleeping pad pumped up but it also has a light on it which I'll be using later today so if you're looking for an excellent pump for your sleeping pad make sure you check out the Flextail Tiny Pump 2X this is an incredible piece of gear okay so you see the strap here all you have to do you can probably unsnap it if you wanted to so just pull this over the other side and then attach it to this side Go one snap, good to go. Ta da! All right, so I've got my camp items, outside bags, inside bags, or inside the tent. I'm gonna go head over to the campfire. All right, so what you see here is my little project called the Hobo. It's a piece of Tyvek that I've reinforced with gaffer tape, cut out the center. So if you wanted to stake it down, you could. But this is a water resistant footprint for your stuff while you're at camp. If you're sitting here, which will see me in a few seconds, I can put all my stuff here and it never gets lost. Genius. All right, so we're talking about peak refuel. Between those two, which one is your favorite over there? Me? Yeah. Well, I actually like the chicken pesto pasta the best. Yeah. But that would be my second favorite. And I like this like third. Third. But I thought I was getting the chicken pesto pasta, but I ended up picking up the wrong one. But love them. I love all of them. Well, I have something to share with you, but it's actually not sharing because it's for me. It's also my favorite. It gets a five out of five every time, which is the chicken pesto. Chicken pesto pasta. <laughs> I'll trade you. I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> this is the number one peak refuel, in my opinion. We started at 20 mile. Uh, we went up part of Wolf Ridge to 20 mile loop and over and up to 92. So we're at 92 tonight. We're gonna backtrack back down to the split, catch 20 mile trail up to the AT, and then we're gonna hike down the AT a little bit to Shuckstock Tower as long as the weather's good. If the weather's nice, you can get a nice view of Fontana Dam and all of that. And then we'll head back down the AT to Doe Knob and then uh, Gregory Bald Trail all the way down across Gregory Bald, uh, stopping at Campsite 13. That's where we'll be tomorrow night. All right, so we are just sitting. <laughs> Thought I lost my head. <laughs> anyway, so we're sitting here waiting for Southern Hike to get here. Now he's an engineer. So did he go the shortest distance to catch up with us or did he go the more scenic route? We'll find out, stay tuned. Alright, so this is Camp 92, if you've never been here before, in the Great Smoky Mountains. Lots of spaces to camp, multiple places to collect water. In fact, there's a little creek going down this way, another creek going down that way. And as you can see, you have campsites that are spaced out through the entire site. So, we have a couple visitors that are down this way. But again, as you can see, lots of privacy, different sections if you'd like. Again, firing there, firing there, firing over there. Lots of places, and it also has bear cables. If you didn't already see that with the food hanging up, 
over here, which is really nice in case you don't want to throw your bear line to hang your bear bag. You can see that the cables are here. And you just attach your food bag and then haul on up. It's nice to have that here without having to worry about animals getting into your food and such. So the Southern Hike took the scenic route here to Camp 92. Saw a bear, and now he's setting up his Durston X-Med Pro. It's been an adventure already. Two in the dark. Yeah, I bet it's been. So if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and send me your comments as I do respond. As always, thanks for watching, but until next time, let's keep moving.